Hi everyone, we're going to do a little color study with either warm or cool colors and we're going to be making a tree silhouette. You're going to be working on a small piece of paper, it's only six by six, and this is one that I've already finished. I'm going to set this aside and the one I'm going to demonstrate, we're going to be using cool colors. <clears throat> You're going to notice that I have masking tape around the border. I'm going to help you do that because that can get a little tricky. Um, that's going to make this nice, neat edge around your picture. And of course, on the back, you need to have your name. So, I'm going to flip it over. And, like I said, this one I'm going to use the cool colors. So I have a light blue, kind of like a, a middle blue, a deeper blue, and then a purple. I'm going to start with the light blue first, and I'm just going to make this arching line from one side to the other and then I'm going to color in as darkly as I can. I'm going to try not to have a lot of white space showing. And these are oil pastels and you're just going to learn one way of blending these pastels today. So there's that. I'll move to my next color, kind of like a cool color rainbow. And then my deep blue. Now, of course, the blue colors are a lot darker than the warm colors, so your tree will appear a little bit darker in this finished piece. And then uh, the last, I'm going to end with purple. All of these hues are cool colors. The other thing, the masking tape, you don't want to wrap it around the back because, of course, later we're going to be pulling this off. Okay, so I finished my coloring. Now I'm going to blend, but of course I have left, oh, nope, here's one, a piece of toweling to do the blending. All right, so I'm going to start from the light and going up to the dark, and all I'm going to do is blend. You want to have a pretty thick piece of toweling to do this, and the camera might not be the greatest to see this, but I'm just going to keep going up. And this is just one way, one method of blending oil pastels. You're going to have to press down firmly so your paper doesn't move away from you. And then as you're doing this, this is just another technique that you can use later on in your own work this year. Okay, And that's about it. I'm going to do another video to show you how to do the tree.